So you spun up a Next.js application using the command line interface provided to you by Next.js. With default settings, you've changed nothing in the application. And when you open up the application in the browser, you see these image warnings. And these two images have to do with this next icon here, which is an image, and this icon here, the Vercel icon, which is also an SVG image. The warning says the image has either width or height modified, but not the other. If you use CSS to change the size of your image, also include the styles width, auto, or height auto to maintain the aspect ratio. These warnings are perplexing because as you can see here, we are using the image component from Next.js itself. And we are supplying the width and the height props with values for both the Next.js image as well as the Vercel image. But do take note that the source of these images are external. They're going to a URL to fetch this SVG for both of them. Let's examine the message one more time. It says the image has either width or height modified. So let's examine inspect the image. So if we examine the Next.js image, we can see here that the intrinsic size was 300 by 61 pixels. And then the render size is 180 by 37. Now if you look at the code, remember the code, the code, uh, we specified 180 by 38, 38, 37, close enough for government work. So we've clearly modified the height and the width. Let's examine the Vercel icon as well. So the intrinsic size is or, or was 21 by 20. And if you recall in the code, we specified 20 by 20. So this has been modified as well. Let's take a look at the documentation for the image prop. So at a very minimum, we need the source width, height, and alt. We have all of that already. And then let's take a look at the optional props and figure out what is the most likely one that we are missing. Let's try fill and see what happens. So fill is a Boolean value, and by default, it's set to true. And it says here that the Boolean that causes the image to fill the parent element, which is useful when the width and height are unknown. Mm, that sounds kind of sketchy. We actually do know the width and height. Let's try it anyways. As you can see here, I've added, I've added the fill prop. Unfortunately, that didn't work for us. The next optional props that we're likely to use is sizes. Now sizes, to make a long story short, allows us to specify the height and width of the image. Let's see if sizes matters. So there's our new optional prop. Well, evidently sizes doesn't matter because the warnings are still there. Please pardon the pun. Let's move down here to the advanced prop section and style. Now, if we read the warning once again, it says if you use CSS to change the size of your image, also include the styles with auto or height auto to maintain the aspect ratio. And then we look at the example down here in advanced props we can use the style prop to pass in our CSS styles here. Of course, it would be a lot cleaner if we were to declare an object and then pass it here so that the front-end devs can come in and change the style 
if need be, and have an easier time finding the style. So let's give this a go. So as you can see on line 4 and 5, I've declared two styles object, one for the Next.js icon styles and one for the Vercel icon styles. And I've applied them, as you can see. Now, you're wondering why I did not use auto, width and height auto, rather than specifying the actual size. Well, I found to trial and errors with these last, oh gosh, when did next year has come out? Oh, last four years or so, that um, giving it a specific size works consistently, whereas if you were to use auto, it does not work consistently. And also, you can certainly pass the styles directly into this prop, like something like that. But I found that this is a cleaner pattern because um, if the styles ever need to change, the front end devs can certainly just come in here at the top of the component and change the style here rather than have to go hunting around to change the styles for a certain image. So just to clarify, Next.js has been around longer than four years. Um, I've been working with Next.js since 2020, so around four years, but certainly Next.js has been around a lot longer than that. And as you can see here, our warnings are gone. And if you're wondering why I took the debugging steps that I did, starting out with using the fill prop and the sizes prop is because throughout the years working with Next.js and people have asked me how to solve this issue and I have asked them how what steps they've, they've taken to resolve the issue and they usually, usually always say fill they use the fill prop and the sizes prop and then perhaps setting the height and width to auto none of which have worked consistently or worked at all and so the only thing that's worked consistently throughout the years is to use the style advanced prop and give it the height and width. That issue has worked, or well, that solution has worked consistently. Then the other question is, well, why are we even bothering to fix these warnings? Well, these warnings shows up in the build pipeline in the in the console within the log. So we want to keep the CICD pipeline logs nice and clean. These warnings serve as noise and distraction to real issue that could potentially show up. So we want to resolve this and it doesn't look very nice uh, when it shows up. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. Um, okay, so if you like this type of video, please consider liking the video with a thumbs up and then subscribing if you are not already a subscriber. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.